Now we are going to pray. Everyone, please pray this very seriously. This is part of the miracle service. Are you ready now? Say, Father. Shout it, let it be with all your heart. Say, Father. In this season, I decree and declare that I'm going forward. I'm making progress. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Decree and declare in this season, someone is praying. You came for a miracle service. Command your own progress. In this season, in this season, I decree and declare, I make progress. I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Progress spiritually. Someone is praying. Progress in business. Progress academically. Progress maritally. Someone open up your mouth and pray. Progress. Progress. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. In this season, I make progress. In ministry, I make progress. In this season, I go forward. Every delay, every stagnation against my life, against my progress, I come against you. Someone is praying. A believer is praying. I make progress. I make progress. I make progress. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. This is August the 8th month. We are stepping into September the 9th month. And the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth her son. Is someone ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every vision, every prophetic word that is still hanging over my destiny as I step into this month and September. Let it manifest. Open your mouth and pray. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Every vision, every prophetic word, someone pray. Let it manifest. Great things that have been spoken concerning me. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. The increase. Let it manifest. Someone you are praying. Breakthrough. Let it manifest. Open doors. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You are praying. Let it manifest. Shakata pakata lakata. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Someone pray, my marital destiny, let it manifest. That pregnancy, let it manifest. The arrival of that anointing, let it manifest. The open doors, let it manifest. My prosperity, let it manifest. The ministry of destiny help us, let it manifest. As soon as Zion travails, travail it in prayer, let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. In the name of Jesus, let it manifest. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. How many of you are ready to rebuke the spirit of delay? You're going to shout this, let it be from the depth of your heart. That there are many things God has said should be by now. But there are spirits that have vowed that you will never see the faithfulness of God in that area. 
Now is the time to clear them out of the way. Are you ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father. Shout it again, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, every delay over my life, over my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, that delay is broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Broken now. Broken now. Delay. Broken now. Go ahead and pray. Delay. Broken now. Delay. Broken now. Delay. Mention every area of your life. Cause delay. Cause delay. Cause delay. Call it by name. Cause it by the blood of the Lamb. Shabakata balaka parakata. Krakata lanta kaparakatos katabrakata. Shabranta kaparakata balaka paruta salavatash. Take a minute and cause delay. There must be results in my life in this season. I cause delay. I cause delay in ministry. I cause delay in destiny. I cause delay over your children. Cause delay over your spouse, over your business. Sabalaga parada kata frest. Skada balanta kapalaga parato kata barato siata. Delay. Delay. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. When it was time for Isaac to bless his sons, the blessing was to go to Esau. But because a secret that was in the heart of Isaac was made open, Rebekah had it. And when she had it, she called Jacob. She said, something that should come to your brother, I want it to come to you. And as if it were a joke, eventually Jacob received that blessing and Esau cried and said is, is there nothing left let me tell you the truth when matters leave the heart of God you are not the only one who hears it that God said I want to bless you it's not only you who hears it the gates of hell wickedness powers and everybody is also interested in that prophecy what God told you is also of interest to demons is also of interest to wicked men but it is your own responsibility to war in the place of prayer and say that which is apportioned for me it must never be diverted in this season that which is apportioned for my destiny it will not be aborted in the spirit is someone ready to open your mouth and pray go ahead and pray that which God has declared concerning me it will not be diverted by wizardry it will not be diverted by powers manipulating the heavens I decree and declare that which has been spoken concerning me oh I will not make the mistake of Esau I wore a good warfare with the prophecy I wore a good warfare my bishopric another will not take my bishopric another will not take Pray. Pray. Amalada balaga baraka tabrasa. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't be tired of praying. You're partnering with God to produce victory. Now we're going to pray. 
We are going to call forth by faith the human agents who have been mandated to partner with prophecy so that it will be manifest in your life. You can call by faith. Remember, I have taught you because one man forgot, Joseph added two years in prison. So when God speaks, the manifestations of his word is not just mindset dependent. You have been taught here that it's also men dependent. We have dealt with the issue of mindsets. Someone is going to pray. Shout it from the depth of your heart. Say, Father, every human agent who must come into partnership with prophecy for my sake, I cry unto you, may they arise now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Help us of the war. Open your mouth and pray. Endorse us. Open your mouth and pray. Don't be silent. Don't be careless. Declare by faith. Ordained by God to partner with your rising. Ordained by God to wipe the tears of shame from your eyes. Ordained by God to see to your lifting. Ordained by God. Every human agent, decree and declare, they rise for your sake. They come to the rescue for your sake. Every human agent mandated by God, anointed by God, the Father of Spirits, to show up in this ministry, to show up in my life, to show up in my destiny, bringing direction, enhancing my lifting. I call them forth by faith. I call them forth by faith. I call them forth by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayer points. Don't be tired. You are returning with your testimonies for sure. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You still believe in speed? Hmm. Yes, sir. That in four months, God is still able to bring you acceleration. Who believes that? Shout it after me with all your heart. Say, Father, Father even, now, even now, I still believe for speed, for acceleration. Open your mouth and pray. Even now, even now, it is August, but I still believe for my company. It is August, but I still believe for speed in ministry, speed in my destiny. Shake away unbelief and pray. Speed. Someone pray. Speed in establishment. Speed in your finances. Lord, do in one month what has not been done in five years. Jehovah, do in one month what has not been done in five years. Do in one month what has not been done in five years. Bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my destiny. Go ahead and pray. Pray with faith. Speed to my destiny. Speed, speed, speed. Even now, I believe you for speed in ministry. Even now, I believe you for speed in destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus.
Mary cried and said, it's too late. The man is dead three days. He said, if you were here, Lazarus would not have died. But he said, even now, even now, huh, even now, it is August. I feel that we should still pray that prayer again. We should pray. I don't know. It may not be for everybody. Father, do in one month what has not been done in five years. Go ahead and pray. Do in one month in my life. Do in one month in the life of my spouse. Do in one month in the life of my children. Do in one month in the destiny of Nigeria. Do in one month in my business. God can bring speed. Speed in your finances. God can change the report in one month. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think it was, was it US or Canada now during the Sound of Revival conference? A lady gave a very touching testimony. I think for about 21 years, if I recall, she had been trusting God, something related to her papers or so. I hope I get the testimony right. 21 years and just like that in a moment. It is beautiful to see God move, but it is beautiful to see him move on time. On time. On time. Even now. Let me speak to someone before we take the last prayer point. Everything that seems to be behind schedule in your life, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, if you have the faith to believe it, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I say to you, September will not meet you still desiring that miracle. I send a prophetic word. September, not, not September, will not meet you still desiring that miracle. September will only meet Thanksgiving. September will only meet Thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who think every prophetic word is a joke, the Bible says despise not prophesying. I'm still saying it again. We still have a few days. I'm not saying the end of September. I'm saying September will not meet you still waiting for that miracle. Honestly, from the depth of my heart, if you believe, you will be surprised at what my God will do. September will only meet you dancing. Only me to rejoicing, only me to jumping as far as that matter is concerned. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Shortly we'll be praying over the request. You see, when you come to God, take away your pain for a moment. If not, it will disrupt what God is doing. And you will find out that you'll be hearing words that can change you. But something in you will be saying, is it true? Can God make a table in the wilderness? I know God moves, but can he step in for me that fast? It means you don't know God. In case you didn't have the faith to receive, I'm saying it again, that the remaining days left until August is complete, may that be the length of time left for your miracle to arrive. The remaining days left until August is complete, may that be the length of time left before you begin to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, And the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, and a foolish man said, ah, will this happen? For some of you, the meaning of this is that divine direction like you have never seen from January till now, God will show you the real secrets for the results in the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, God will raise men that while you are sleeping, they are awake for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ.
let me give you the last prayer point. Very quickly, we have to hurry up. My God. The last prayer point. Are you ready to pray now? You're going to pray. And I wrote this while I was praying as God was just telling me the things we'll be praying on. The final thing that I wrote here is we're going to pray. The spirits that take away joy. Listen. That when you receive a testimony, it doesn't seem to last. There is no longevity. Have you seen people like that? As soon as a breakthrough comes, they are even afraid because another news will soon follow. I don't know about you, but take the next two to three minutes. You are going to war in the spirit. Whatever the Lord do it, it endures forever. Lord, I will not laugh today and cry tomorrow. I will not celebrate today and cry tomorrow. You will not start something and then leave me in shame. Someone open your mouth. Say, Father, bring your word to completion in my life and give it longevity in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Bring your word to completion. Everything you have begun, bring your word to completion. Someone is praying. Bring your word to completion. Bring your word to completion and give it longevity. Let me not rejoice today and cry tomorrow. Let me not celebrate your blessing today and lose it tomorrow. Let me not celebrate promotion today and lose it tomorrow. You don't lift men up and bring them down. Longevity of impact. Longevity of relevance. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. I don't have time. That's why I'm not showing you all the scriptures. My apology. But the scripture connected to this, we will not quote it, but I'll write it for you. I would, I would just, just um, quote it. The Bible tells us that after... 10 plagues, 9 plagues, when the 10th one came, listen, that Pharaoh released the people in a hurry. They left such that their door could not even rise. He said, go, go, go. In. And the Bible says, as they left, Pharaoh suddenly said, no, I won't give up on them, even though they have gone. He said, get your army, pursue them and bring them back. So don't just say, I have left Egypt. There's still Pharaoh regretting that he left you. And he's on his way with a chariot. Are we together now? But Miriam sang a song for us. He said, I will sing unto the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its rider have been thrown into the sea. We are still going to pray that prayer one more time. That everything that represents Pharaoh. Still wanting to pull me back into my pain of yesterday. Wanting to, rec to bring back the shame of yesterday. To have blessings and lose it. To have joy and lose it. To have sleep and lose it. In the name of Jesus, it is drowned forever. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Invest one more minute in prayer. Drown forever. Drown forever. Drown forever. I have left Egypt. I will never return there as a slave again. I've been called to walk in liberty. I will never return there in shame again. I've been healed. I will never go back to that sickness again. The spirit that resurrects trouble Resurrects pain, resurrects shame, resurrects disappointment. I curse you over my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ.